guys welcome to my channel this is martina and today i think it's high time that we finish our trash to treasure journal uh it's getting quite chunky so i thought we could make one last item to go into the journal and then we will have a uh, final flip through and just in case you are new here this journal is uh, one that we are making as a trash to treasure project so we are using packaging and junk and trash to turn them into a uh, junk journal and this uh, journal is actually made from Amazon envelope, Amazon packaging and um, I will have a final flip through but I just want to show you guys what we made uh, last time. So we made this cascading uh, pocket thing so it's a, like a triple pocket we have a pocket here uh, made from vellum then it flips up and we have just a little decoration we have a pocket here uh, again made from vellum some lovely uh, faux feathers and there is journaling space when it flips up and then there is a pocket here uh, on this bottom layer and then when you flip it over like this you have some more journaling space and I just clipped it here of course it can also be glued to the page in this case I wouldn't decorate the bag I would just leave it plain and just glue it uh, and have it like this Okay, so today I thought we could make a little ephemera holder, a little ephemera folio for this journal for some just little scraps, maybe scraps of papers or some postage stamps, something like this, just little things. And what I have here to start with, I have two project life cards, two journaling cards. They are four by six inches or uh, 10 by 15 centimeters. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to use them. I don't really use project life, life cards anymore. So I thought we could uh, make our ephemera holder with these. We will of course cover them with something. <laughs> and so, let's start with one of them and let's say this is going to be our front cover for our uh, ephemera folio and so um, i have here the oh and the kit that we are using to make this uh, is my blissful birds kit uh, which is available for you in my etsy shop so um, you can follow the links in the description box to check it out and I think for the front I'm just going to use maybe a page one of the pages that we have left and yeah and just just use it like this just have some beautiful birds or beautiful images on the front and then maybe add some decoration I like this I'm just trying to see if it's not too big how is it shoot well the details would be cut off a little bit but i think this could work what else do we have left from making this project um we have this as well Ooh, i like this one with the butterflies but this one might be too big yeah i would be cutting the um cutting a bit too much of the of the butterflies okay so then there is the ephemera journaling page we have some we have this as well and this is nice too is it too big yeah it's a little bit too big so i think we we are going to go with um with the one that i picked I also have this one no, I think I like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue stick and just glue this card on the back. On the back here. And how do I want it? So more like to the top 
So somewhere here, hopefully. <laughs> and I'm going to cut around it. So this way, it's a very quick way to cover uh, a surface. And this way we will have kind of a starting point for our cover and we can add something we can decorate it a little bit and for the way that i'm going to um, join these two cards <clears throat> i think i'm going to go with jump rings i haven't done it in a while and i love it and uh yeah it's fine and uh jump ring like kind of um what am i trying to say joining cards or joining ephemera pieces by jump jump rings and eyelets is inspired by maddie who is crafty lore uh here on youtube and i do recommend you guys check out her channel i will see if i can remember to link it below but if not then just search for crafty lore l-o-r-e and she has amazing journals i think i've said it before but she is one of those crafters that i can watch their flip throughs numerous times and i always find something new in them i always find something uh, new that inspires me something new that i want to try ah uh, yeah she makes really amazing journals okay so now i'm thinking maybe i want to add a label a label so this is my ephemera holder that we made together and um, i'm i'm flipping through or trying out my tracy fox labels I'm kind of tempted to use this one. Maybe it's a little too big. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it is too big, but I like the kind of the colors, the patterns. Do I have any smaller ones? I need to reprint them, I think. And I need to print some smaller ones maybe here hmm. what else do i have i have some sticker labels oh maybe this will look nice actually because it has pink and it's nice and grungy so I will keep this one and let's see what else these all of these are rather big so not, not really and then I have these no reds not going to work here hmm. okay so let's go with this one and let's put this aside Okay, so I think I'm going to first of all ink around it with my vintage photo so that it stands out a little bit more and I'm also thinking I will add some collage under it to make it stand out even more. So how are you guys? How are you doing? I hope you, uh, you had a great start to, to the new week. Um, we had, as I mentioned, we had a few really like spring, spring-like days and then <laughs> unfortunately it ended and we are now back in winter, so it's very cold. Thankfully it's, it's sunny, so that's, that's okay, but it's very cold and it tends to snow <laughs> uh, from time to time so that's it's not not fun 
and it's sad it's always sad for me because we've always we've always we've already seen some flowers some what are, are they called in english uh, Oh, what are they called? Snow, snowdrops, I think they are called. Uh, so we, we've seen some snowdrops already and it always makes me sad that like the nature is teasing those poor flowers into believing that, is tricking them into believing that it's already um, spring where it's of course not and so they start blooming and then well winter comes again and poor poor flowers so yeah so we are in uh winter again and today is sunny and yesterday i think was sunny too very cold and windy but at least it's sunny but <laughs> it's not going to last long because I think tomorrow starts a period of at least a week where we are going to have a bit of snow, a bit of rain, which is like terrible. I mean, the, you know, we, we will have the temperature slightly above zero, so it's a bit too warm for, um, for snow so that we're going to have like a snow mixed with rain which is awful <laughs> awful awful and then we've uh, we've tried to search for like a long-term forecast which is not you know i don't believe everything i see in the long-term weather forecast because sometimes even the weather forecast for tomorrow is not what actually happens. Uh, but yeah, March is not going to be really pretty here in Poland, unfortunately. Uh, okay, you guys, so I'm thinking maybe I will round the corner or maybe I will first do some collaging on the back okay so we have this and i was also thinking of my gold leaf trim of course <laughs> so let me maybe add a piece of it i'm still loving using it so much okay i like it here so i'm going to to glue it for now using my wet glue mm -hmm. so this is my second week of working full-time in my corporate job and well, I think I'm starting to feel it. I I didn't feel it last week, not not very much, but on Sunday I actually said to my boyfriend, oh, I'm so excited, it's Monday uh, and the new work week tomorrow. So you guys, I think it's starting to sink in and um, yeah, I actually meant it. I was so excited about Monday and I did, uh, I. Uh, I did so, I did a lot yesterday, I I did a lot of work and I was so happy with it and so proud of myself and I actually had to stop myself in the evening, it was like 6.30 in the evening and I've been working from 8am, oops sorry, uh, I actually had to stop myself from um, working some more because yeah I needed to rest. So now I have these uh, artificial flowers or faux flowers, they are fabric. And I was thinking maybe I could add one here somewhere as a little tab to make opening this piece a little easier. And I am going to, I'm going to attach them uh, with hot glue okay i'm just trying to see which one I, oh i like the purple because we have 
some purple um, splatters but I like this one as well and I think I have some more like pinky ones it's nice but maybe a little bit too blendy and mm, I think I'm going to go with this so they have this little like stem but I'm going to cut it out or can I just take it off let me first maybe plug in my hot glue I think uh, I think using wet glue would work uh, nice as well although you know guys I think I will do this but at the end because now that I'm thinking about this I want to do collaging on this side and I want to stitch around both like both sides so then I will attach my flowers so this for now goes to the side and I'm going to keep this flower here so I don't forget but for now let's just do some collaging here and also I'm thinking here so this is going to be the inside so I will just take a few pieces of paper and then to the inside we will add some pockets and I will show you guys what I've been using for pockets in my ephemera holders lately because at first I was using vellum uh, but I think I've found something better that I love and I'm actually in the process of making six ephemera holders for my Etsy shop and I'm almost done with, with this, almost finished. So they, they should be ready to, to be listed in the shop very soon and they are very spring-like. I think I can show you guys a little sneak peek. So this is a little sneak peek of one of them uh, and I used some journaling cards from my new digital kit which is in the making still so this is also a sneak peek of this and yeah this is kind of what they are going to be all about flowers flower tabs and beautiful papers and yeah I love how they look and some lace on the spine as well so I'm very excited about about them and yeah so I use this new material for my pockets in these two and I'm pretty sure it's going to be very durable and it also looks nice and feels nice I don't know I like the feel of it <laughs> okay so we have this and what else do I want maybe some some vintage book page <coughs> oh sorry guys I've been sneezing today I don't know if despite it being still very wintry if it's the allergy season starting I hope not I usually suffer a lot <laughs> during the allergy season so I really hope it's not that because I'm not ready yet <laughs> but we will see okay so let's start collaging so we have this way up mm -hmm. so yesterday I actually finished my spring kit digital kit the main kit with the papers I'm still working on the add-on but because I'm so excited to start working on spring journals with you guys this will be like a start to finish project I think I'm going to list the main kit maybe tomorrow when and I think tomorrow we will start working on the journals and I can't wait because uh, I have a fun idea for the cover of those, so, um, so I want to share it with you. 
so I think I will list the, the papers and then I, I will keep working on the add-on and when it's done I will list it as well and I really like how it's how it turned out it's very very spring like flowery I called it spring garden and and it really, really has a spring garden vibe, I think. Okay, this a little bit. So yeah, so I finished the kit and I basically finished the ephemera holders. And yeah, like I said, in the evening I was like, okay, so maybe now I will film a video still, you know. And then I had to stop myself because even though I was not feeling very tired, I guess, I, I knew I, I'm probably tired even though I don't feel it because I've worked for over 10 hours without any breaks, basically. That's how excited and... Uh, happy I am to be working on my own things but I had this um, therapy session some time ago when I was feeling very down like what I said what I shared with you guys um, when when I wasn't uh, feeling well and all that so I had I had a therapy session in which my therapist actually said that it's probably the way I am, you know, that I, my mood and my energy is like a wave, that some people have it like almost a straight line, so they are balanced uh, all the time and um, I'm like a wave, a very, like very high highs and very low lows. <laughs> And that is probably going to happen to me all my life that I am on top of the wave sometimes and then on the bottom of the wave. And uh, he said that what I can do is I can try to balance it myself in a way that when I feel I'm on top of the wave and I definitely uh, feel right now like I'm going to the top of my wave uh, with the energy, motivation, inspiration and everything, I, I should consciously stop myself and like pause myself a little bit and remember that I have to rest and so I don't use up all my energy and that when the uh, when the high uh, and the top of the wave ends and I'm going down to the bottom of the wave, uh, I'm not going so, so low as I would probably, you know, normally would. So this is what I'm, I'm trying to do. Oops. I'm trying to be conscious of it and even though it feels amazing to have all this energy and to be working and enjoying it and working non-stop for 10 hours uh, I made a conscious decision to stop to rest and I think it was a good decision because then by 8 uh, p.m. I was like so tired I, it literally felt like it was 10 p.m already and it was just eight so i knew i um i made the right decision to stop so that's that's why there's there hasn't been a video yesterday because i did so much uh of of different um different things different projects okay like this and here I think <clears throat> I don't have a piece which would be this um, white so let me use this here And then maybe a little piece of something, 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 this one maybe 
up there. Saturday, my boyfriend and I went to Ikea. We went very early in the morning. So like Ikea opens 9 uh, a.m. on Saturdays and we were there like 9.30. Uh, and we are hoping, because we were early, <laughs> that there will, won't be too many people. And well, there were, I don't know what what it is with Ikea in Poland, but you guys, I think people come there uh, like on a family trip. <laughs> so, and, and for for the meals. So, um, I, I it feels like people come to Ikea to uh, breakfast first in the morning. Then they have the family tri trip with their kids and whatnot and then they stay for lunch <laughs> which is ridiculous this is ridiculous i don't know if this is like this in other countries but i wouldn't be surprised if it was like this one in poland and it's irritating because it's the pandemia and we just wanted to get uh two things um, and we wanted to get them quickly so that we wouldn't be uh, endangering ourselves by being in a crowded uh, store. But fortunately, we, we checked online where, uh, where those, uh, those two, we, we wanted two tables, tables or like coffee tables maybe. Uh, we wanted to pick them up and we checked online where they are in the store so we just went there picked them up and went out but still i mean it's a very popular destination for family trips it would seem so we picked out two luck tables uh, they are L A C K lock tables. I think they are um, like very classic IKEA th things. One one is a square, a small square, and it was very very affordable. And the other one, so the the square was for our living room, and the other one uh, is more like a rectangle and has a shelf underneath it. Um, as well so this one is for my room and i used it um, like i had this one corner still in my studio that wasn't occupied and i was thinking what i wanted there and at first i thought maybe i want a like an armchair or something like this to sit there and to journal or read uh, but then i figured out no it's actually my working room so it would be better, I think, to utilize every space I have to make my work easier and more efficient. And I, I actually prefer to journal and read uh, with my boyfriend, so in, in the living room. So he does his thing, I do my thing, and it's just very nice. So I decided to use this corner of my room uh, to uh, add this table and I had two spare studio lamps so for my filming I'm using like a ring lamp which is above my desk right now and um, but I used to use studio lamps like those soft boxes uh, rectangle lamps and um, and I had them uh, in my room like not used so I I put them uh, nearby this this table that I got and I'm going to actually use them uh, use this whole setup to take photos for my thumbnails here on YouTube for my Instagram let me take a sip of water uh, because I 
I usually use my, okay, I'm not going to uh, add something to the back here. So I usually use my, I love this so much. I think I'm going to use this piece. I usually use my um, desk, you know, I just move things like <laughs> around and clear a little bit of space and then take my photos but it's not very uh, effective I would say because first of all I do have a lot of things around so I have to take very close shots of um, of the thing that I'm photographing and sometimes I would like a like a like a wider shot um, and also I have this link lamp it's right here it's very low on my desk because it helps me like it's okay for me when I film but it's not really nice when I'm <clears throat> when I'm taking fo photos so uh, right now I am going to be testing out this new setup where I have my work desk which is this one and I work here and I film here and then I also have my uh, photo shoot desk uh, with the two studio lamps uh, just by it and I took a few test photos yesterday and I love it I love the amount of space that I have there it's really nice Okay, so we have the inside collaged, we have the outside pretty much ready. So what I want to do now is, I think, yeah, I think I am going to round the corners. So this is my We Are Memory Keepers corner rounder, I really love it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ink around and I think we can add our pockets. Okay. So I've actually uh, came back to posting on Instagram. I've neglected it for a while when I wasn't feeling well in January and February I just didn't have the energy to share things to do anything really so so I neglected it but I'm posting there again and there is a lot of uh, like behind the scenes clips and uh, some sneak peeks of the projects I'm working on and so if you guys have Instagram and you're not following me there, please do. I would love to connect with you there. I actually like Instagram for that we can actually talk, you know, in the in those direct messages, private messages. Uh, it's it's more community focused than, than YouTube because here on YouTube we can of course talk, I can reply to your comments, you can reply back but it's not the same and on Instagram we can actually connect so it's still and tattered on Instagram and I have it linked in the description okay you guys so here is what I'm using for the pockets now on my ephemera holders and what this is it was in a four I just cut uh, pieces I had this lying around and it's a laminating sheet I got it even though I don't have a laminating machine machine <laughs> uh, but I thought it would be perfect for pockets because see it's transparent um, but it's very sturdy like I tried to I have a piece of it here I tried to destroy it and I couldn't it doesn't tear so you know it's perfect and it's also I like the feel of it I don't know what it is but I really like the feel of it so because I have this these two pieces laying around here let me uh, let me let me measure here and I'm going to cut maybe two pockets for each side but leaving a little bit of a gap because 
I don't want it to go to the edges, so maybe nine or nine and a half. Nine and a half centimeters by maybe three or four, let's see. So just a tad bit smaller than, um, than my cards. Uh, nine and a half. And then the individual pockets are going to be, uh, let's say, four or three. Um, yeah, maybe three and a half centimeters. So about an inch and a half. Okay, what's going on here? Why isn't it cutting? Is it a time to change this? I need one more here. Three and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one is okay, and this one I will um, use my scissors to fix it. And where is the other part of this here? So I can nine and a half for the width of my pockets. Come on. And three and a half for how tall they are going to be. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm thinking, mm, I'm just thinking how to attach them because what I did in my ephemera holders is I had two pockets. <coughs> I had two pockets like this and I've stitched here and here and then all around, but I don't want to stitch here really because I would be stitching through my uh, cover so I'm thinking maybe the top uh, pocket of each one of those I'm just looking for my double-sided tape maybe I will use the double-sided tape mm, I have this oh here is my thin one so I think I will use the double-sided tape here For the top one and for the top one on the other card as well. I can barely see it. Okay, nice. Because I think it's not going to be visible uh, when we have all this pattern going on in the back here. Okay, perfect. Then this one and the um, and this one, the bottom ones, I'm going to just stitch. And if you don't want to stitch, then I would suggest using the double-sided tape. It's really it's really nice for for gluing things or for adhering things that are transparent. And for the bottom ones, I'm just going to add a few dots of glue to keep those in place while I am stitching. Okay. And I'm just going to go around with my sewing machine around the whole card so it will stitch those sides as well as the bottom side here. Oh, and this one I needed to fix a bit with my scissors because it didn't cut very well. Mm -hmm. It's fine. So. I'm 
also going to, I think, turn on my uh, wet glue now so we can attach our flower and we will then join join those um, Uh, join those two parts together so we have our little booklet yeah i really like it it's so sweet okay guys so let me pause the video stitch around it and i will be back okay guys so i have stitched my pockets but i made a mistake of course i told you this like check the right side up and i didn't do it myself oh my goodness so um i have my pockets they are open like this and then this is upside down so i actually uh, decided to because you know we could have butterflies just flower flying down but maybe we will just cover it and i um i use my butterfly sheet that's a freebie under one of my videos and i will link it below if you are uh, interested and i think we will just do a little collage here and cover this with uh, butterflies but first because my hot glue is hot <laughs> let me take this can I take this or do I have to cut it yeah I'm going to take uh, this like stem thing and cut it as short as I can because I don't want to add bulk to my journal so it's kind of flat and I think I'm going to just glue it here in the middle. So let me take my wet glue. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of the glue here and stick it down. Okay, now I can turn this off. All right. I really like it so this, these are the flowers or some of these uh, I used as tabs in my ephemera holders and I just love the way they look okay so there is that then let us do a quick collage here maybe with some book page uh, and some text and <laughs> cover this mistake this is what I love about paper crafting, you know, you can always cover up your mistakes and even if you don't, they are going to look fun and nice. Okay, I think I will just have those two pieces. I will just maybe ink around this one to make it stand out more. So those butterflies, they are a full sheet of butterflies and you can download them and print them on your own and use for whatever project you like. And I've been really enjoying using them. Um, those butterflies probably because they are so colorful and nice. <laughs> I made them kind of pastel. Uh, I, I'm not scared of them. I'm usually scared of butterflies, especially if they look too realistic. I, I don't like it. <laughs> but these ones, I'm, I'm enjoying them. I'm enjoying them. Mm -hmm. So it even adds a little bit more interest to this, to this uh, back cover of our little ephemera folio. Right, so now we can we can do our um, closure. So what I'm going to do is measure this, and I think it should be 15 centimeters, and it is. And I'm going to make two marks if I can find some kind of a pencil. So halfway uh, half of the card is here seven and a half so let's say i'm going to make one two and a half this way seven and a half and one two and a half this way 
So my marks are 5 and 10 centimeters. Are they visible at all? They kind of are, but I'm going to... I am going to make those again. So one, two and a half and ten. <clears throat> well, what did I do here? Again, we have seven and a half and then I have one, two and a half. Okay, so my mark should go here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, then let's see we have this we have this i'm going to punch holes through both of those at the same time so that i make sure they are in the same place and like that and where's the five centimeter mark it's here and here okay mm -hmm. perfect now i can add my eyelids so let me let me take my so i don't know if i didn't i don't know if they are not too widespread for the tiny jump rings they should probably be closer to um, to this, but we will see. I have another idea just in case <laughs> what we have here doesn't work. So I am just going to oops, add eyelets to all of the four holes that we made. I'm just using regular eyelets that are this color of old gold or something like this. And we will see about those jump rings in a moment. suggested that we use two sets of pliers for jump rings and it's a great idea but I don't have two sets of pliers at the moment so I'm just going to have to go with one and make it work okay is it large enough let's try to close it okay I think it will work <laughs> Burly, but it will work. Okay, so we have our first ring here. I'm just going to make sure it's it's closed. Okay, and you guys, I am going to I think pause the camera because kind of doing it on camera stresses me out because I have to like have it close to my face so I'm going to just add one jump ring to each one of those and nothing more and I will close all of them and then we will join them and I will show you how I do it okay uh, so I have a jump ring in each one of those and I'm going to take two more jump rings and these will join the two that we already have so this is going to be like that now i want to i want to join this and and this definitely my eyelids are a bit far from uh, from the edges so if you have small jump rings like i do Mm, I would probably make sure that they are closer uh, to the edge, that the eyelids, the holes. Okay, now I'm going to close it. And here, here it is. I have it joined on this side. I really like it. 
and this one and we will in a moment uh, check if I have any nice goodies that I can put in those pockets here I want I want this to be special because this journal is actually going to be one of the journals that I will be giving away in a hopefully soon to be <laughs> soon um, giveaway so here on YouTube and I want the like the recipient of it to have really nice goodies to play with okay so here it is you guys we have our little ephemera book and I really like how it looks oh, it's so cute okay so first of all I have some vintage postage stamps and I'm pretty sure that I have some really nice bird ones so let me quickly check here because of course this is like a bird journal so maybe a few look at this and this is actually polish and this is a polish stamp too i love this green one hmm. do i have any more birds 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 this is so pretty this one is one of my favorites okay so i think that's it's really nice it's like a first thing that we put here cool so let's put them here Okay, so the next thing I'm thinking is I should have some some of the tea cards from the uh, add-on digital kit, Blissful Birds. And how about we put those? They are so nice to decorate the pages, to add little touches of of collaging on the pages so there is going to be that uh -huh. have one. those are faulty cards of course I made them in Photoshop but the images are really really nice really nice to play with mm -hmm. and this one okay so maybe I will add them here Let me check my ephemera holder, my big ephemera holder to see if I have some nice elements to add and I'm also thinking, oh I know, I should have some flower stickers here in my little box that, well it's not little, it's a bit big, a bit too big I guess to to fit in a frame but I have those like flower stickers that look like pressed flowers and I really like them and I also have those vellum uh, those vellum stickers of flowers oh I love this okay maybe these actually I want to share these with whoever gets this journal because they are so cute 
so and I have this one and maybe this one. holder that I really need to fix to be able to use it um, sorry guys I will try to move it so you can see what I have here and I'm thinking maybe some journaling cards from Tracy uh, yeah. sorry guys sorry sorry I just knocked my lamp and my um my tripod as well maybe some of these words actually because they are like garden themed and i know this kit is full of um hummingbirds and i know some of you guys who are in the states you have uh like hummingbirds in your garden which i think is absolutely like it's exotic to me it's it's exotic it's not something uh, that, that we have here in Poland. We don't have hummingbirds, unfortunately. And I'm thinking maybe some of these cards, these are from antique papery or not, not really, maybe. Uh, I had some, oh maybe, oh, maybe some of these, these are fairy ones from uh, Mrs. Cog and Fairies and butterflies and hummingbirds just kind of go together in my eyes. <laughs> okay, so let's take a couple of these and also a few of those words. guys so we have our cutie ephemera holder packed with goodies to use in the journal to decorate it further and i think we are done with this journal so let's put it somewhere and i think we can have a little flip through uh, soon i will film the flip through uh, and I also have filmed a long time ago. I have filmed a flip through of the Prius treasure project, and I forgot about it. So I'm so sorry. I'm going to post them both. Uh, like at the same time, I think I, I just joined the videos together and uh, there will be a couple of flip throughs of both of our uh, from trash to treasure projects but yeah so basically this journal is all done thank you so much for uh crafting with me today for um thank you for your time i hope you like this project and i think tomorrow we are starting on uh spring journals uh from start to finish i am very very excited to uh to make them with you so have a wonderful tuesday and uh, i will see you tomorrow Bye, guys.